the lesson here is that if it's not broke, you don't fix it. That's truly where I feel like this film went wrong. Let's jump into my review of the new film, Paranormal Activity, Next of Kin. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the new film Paranormal Activity Next of Ken which is going to be releasing on Paramount Plus October 29th. Now this is the seventh installment of the franchise yet it is a reboot so they're starting fresh here and that's fine I'm, I'm cool with that and Paranormal Activity is one of my favorite franchises. Um, I have a very emotional connection to it. I remember the first time I seen the first film, and ever since then, I've always been a fan. And 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 although the films have not been great film in regards to winning awards and all that other stuff, they have always been entertaining to me, and I've always wanted to check them out. And so it was no brainer for the seventh film that I was going to check this out. But to my statement in the beginning, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. And I think of of, of all of the magic that made us love the first six films I feel like this film was trying so hard to be its own film but exist in the paranormal activity universe that um, I, I, I don't know if how I feel about it like I feel a little bit underwhelmed with it I mean like let's think about some of the key things when you identify paranormal activity you're thinking about a demonic presence you're thinking about the loud sound mixing with it you're thinking about the the um the uh the, the night vision shots you're thinking about uh the time lapse you're talking about the date stamps all of those things that you know when you see it you know it's paranormal activity and that many other films tried to duplicate this film did use some of those elements but not all of them and that's to me i don't know why and even with this being a found footage film which i'm a huge fan of all found footage films um it's one of my favorite subgenres within horror i don't understand why even at times in this film it also didn't feel like a found footage film because they tried to make the production look regular and i don't know why we like it to look like it's shot on a camera and yes I understand that technology has gotten better so you can shoot a legitimate movie on your iPhone and they did talk about the advancements in the camera technology in this but it still felt too much like a high level production instead of it feeling like a found footage which really ultimately adds to the horror element so like you want to stick with that and you want it to feel rugged at times so you know it's part of the, some of the problems I had with the film is that like you know don't take away the magic of the paranormal activity universe like don't don't this this franchise has been successful for a reason so you don't you don't get away from that but the other big thing is that there's no reason it should have took about an hour into this film for me to at any point start to feel scared or i don't know paranoid or just anything like they did so much storytelling in the beginning and i was like well are we going to get anything jumping out at us? Any jump scares? Any chilling sounds? Something? It just really took way too long to get into the midst of things. And I, I don't understand why. We know, we know what film this is. It's paranormal activity. So we know what to expect. So give it to us. Early. <laughs> um, but this film, we follow Margot, who is um, a young lady who has never met any of her biological family. Um, that's because her mom went missing some years ago and she also wants to discover the truth behind that as well too so folks have she she connected with uh, part of her family online and she decided to take um, her friends her film crew on this journey with her as she meets them for the first time and when she meets this family of hers it's definitely not at all what she thought it was going to be they're off the grid on this very random ranch that the more and more they look around and explore this ranch the more and more they discover that um these people aren't nearly as normal as they thought they <laughs> are trying to be there is a lot of secrets a lot of things that don't make sense and a lot of mystery here and the more and more she finds out uh, and the more she tries to find out about her mother 
well she realizes that she may have got herself into more than she could ever imagine so there's that now a couple other things here um spoiler alert the black guy survives which is like phew, that never happens and quite frankly everybody doesn't die and that's also not something that usually happens i mean by the end of the paranormal activity films it's a bloody massacre and no one is left around so there was a to a surprise that some people actually survived in this and yes they're setting up for um future films which i will be interested in even though i'm you know mildly disappointed with this one i'm still interested to see what they're going to do next um but the cinematography i thought was really good um for the times where they used the found footage um for the times they didn't i just kind of ignored the set location with the the snow and everything i thought was really nice um the performances were just whatever um because i never by any means ever felt connected with these characters in the sense of their danger or worrying for them like sometimes they made some really bad decision and i was just like Phew. Okay, well, whatever you get, that's, that's what you deserve for the decisions you made. And that's not good because, yes, some of these films could be funny and, and, and have a, a very slight comedic tone to them. It's still a horror film and you need to worry about your protagonist in order to really make this, the horror elements work. And that's that. Um, but there wasn't enough of the paranormal activity franchise elements in this they didn't have the time lapse they didn't have a lot of the um night vision shots they didn't have those really chilling sounds with the demonic presence walking around and all of that stuff they, they just didn't do it you know and i think that's something they should have stuck towards and um while there was some gore some blood splatter i think it could have been probably a little bit more involved here um in the story i mean the story was okay it's it's, in, it's intriguing but it's predictable i think in the beginning i think we all knew how this was all going to play out you know her looking for her mother we kind of knew how that was going to all wrap up at some point but it is interesting to say that the demon in this one um uses women to uh where well, they kind of they use women to hide the demon within them they take you know holy women or virgin marys whatever you want to be and they put the demon inside of them that's in the sense of protecting the demon from getting out into the real world where this is where Margot gets involved here because she fits the, the mo here you know when you have somebody coming from a very high spiritual um um bloodline then these people become targets so she, again she discovers more about herself and her family than she could imagine and that's why she became a target for this family of <laughs> well i forgot to mention this family of hers who are actually devil worshipers yeah no surprise there i mean it, the proof was in the pudding within the first five minutes of being on that property so but um overall the movie i don't know I, i'm gonna watch it again um for my first viewing i did not really feel so I, i'm i'm underwhelmed i thought it was going to be a lot more a lot better but it, it definitely wasn't what i was expecting and maybe my expectations are high because i'm such a big fan but i don't know i'm gonna check it out again and i'm gonna let you all know but that will do it for my review of paranormal activity next of kin jump in the comments folks let me know your thoughts about this and stick around for more reviews very soon